Hello everyone, I'm Cindy Farina, Chair of the ANA Health and Wellness Committee, coming to you from my home in Oakland Township, Michigan. I live in the metropolitan Detroit area, which has been hard hit by the COVID-19 pandemic by both the state and local levels. For us CRNAs, this pandemic has created stressors that none of us could have anticipated, ranging from exposure to a serious, highly contagious, sometimes fatal disease, all the way to loss of employment. While the Health and Wellness Committee has worked to provide resources to sustain our emotional and physical health over the years, this pandemic has definitely presented some unique challenges. I'm sure that our individual emotional responses to this pandemic had varied widely. Maybe for some of us, conventional stress management techniques that we so often talk about may not have been enough to sustain us and keep us on an even keel. As civilians and nurses, I doubt that we've been trained to emotionally handle situations that pose risks to our health and our lives. So I put some thought into how we might deal with being suddenly thrown into a crisis like the COVID-19 pandemic. So what can get us out the door to walk into a situation that places our well-being and lives at risk, as well as those of the ones we love? What might you do when fear collides with duty and professionalism? I can only share with you some of my personal experiences that may resonate with you. First of all, spirituality or a belief in a higher power when we feel that we don't have control over a situation was very helpful to me. Spirituality can come to us in whatever form is meaningful to us. This is what got me to walk into the door of the hospital after a week's vacation, where from my home, I watched in horror an onslaught of COVID-19 patients coming into my hospital and also news reports of healthcare workers falling ill and sometimes dying. Secondly, camaraderie. That was a strength of courage from my coworkers and longtime friends who were walking the same path as me. Spending time together during lulls and the action was also very helpful. We shared some laughs, stories, and bonded with people that I knew very well for a long time and people that I didn't know very well. We got strength in numbers in the buddy system. Next, understanding that people just might not be themselves at this time and give people permission to be just a little off. Also, limiting time spent on social media and watching the news, which serves as a constant reminder of the worst possible outcomes of this pandemic. Lastly, I recommend seeking counseling services that are available to you to sort out and manage feelings in a safe place with the guidance of a professional. At this time, we're almost six weeks into the COVID crisis. Hospital admissions may be leveling off and we may feel some sense of relief. We may also have been accustomed to ways of protecting ourselves and gaining some comfort from that. The staff at ANA, the Health and Wellness Committee members, and CRNAs have provided a wealth of resources for CRNA well-being during the COVID-19 pandemic. You can find them at ana.com slash COVID wellness. On behalf of the ANA Health and Wellness Committee members, Chuck Griffiths, Kathy Horvath, Farah Lechnich, and Adrian Chavez, we wish you well as we all continue to contend with COVID-19. Bye for now, stay well, and stay safe.